I have this feeling that every time I use the word Evernote and new in a title of a video, you guys rush to the play button. Is that true? <laughs> is that what happens? <laughs> if it is, click the like button. Let me know. Let's start with code block with syntax highlighting. Remember, you have to be running Evernote 10.91.1 or above. There are some ways to create a code block. This was already a feature. What is new is the syntax highlighting. The old fashioned way is using the insert menu and clicking code block. The option number two, I guess, is also old fashioned. <laughs> Three uh, back ticks and enter. And here we have it. And the new option is using the slash command and code block. Inside here, we now have formatting by language, or you can simply paste a text here. It automatically detected HTML and XML, and it has the syntax highlighting. I really don't know if this is correct because I'm not a developer. <laughs> so please tell me in the comments below. <laughs> By the way, this is the code for my newsletter. It's a monthly newsletter. It's just one email and all you get is all the links to everything I published during the previous month. Okay, let's take a look at the other new feature. Again, we have three options, insert quote. We can use the slash menu quote, or the one I prefer, uh, the greater than symbol. And here you have it. Every note ever written at any time in any place. This quote was part of Evernote's first website, and I love it. You'll find mugs, t-shirts, and a lot of merch on my online store with this quote. There are many other new features that I'm already testing, so you can expect new videos like this coming up very soon. I hope so, at least. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you soon.